Hey, it's Ghost Mouse here, and we're back for another episode of Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Let's get stuck straight in. So, we left off last time, having just completed level 3. Uh, so now, level 4 was kind of inside the belly of a beast. Oh, and once those walls start flashing red, you have to quickly get onto that platform. Because, whoa, like that. Once it happens, all the floors, the walls, everything's going to come spiky. And it is going to kill you. You need to get onto those platforms. Oh, that was close. Very nearly uh, didn't make that jump. Oh, we don't want that weapon. We're happy with the uh, crossbow, thank you. Super handy this as well for killing kind of baddies like that, where they're in kind of awkward positions and they're above you or below you and whatnot. And, uh, get them without having to kind of get into the awkward, awkward positions yourself. Whoa! We lost our armor there. Okay, we need to get into that quick. And then we're going to turn upside down. So it's really cleverly designed, this level, I think. Um, you know, it kind of works both ways. Whoa! And I think there's going to be a chest, yeah, behind us. That, and I think it's going to have some armor. Which we can't afford to turn down, seeing as we are in the nud. See if we can hang on to it this time. Yeah, so it's really cleverly designed that kind of oh, need to get back on this. That it's all kind of one you know, it's all kind of one area, but just depending on which angle you're looking at it from, it looks very different. And that is stage one of the level done. Now we're on to this quite tricky bit. Where we're kind of I don't know, is that intestines below us? No, if you know. I don't know what these little uh, balls of pus are. Ooh, and now there's purple. There's these. Bruh, there's purple stuff coming down at you. You got to hold back. You know, this is a kind of classic platformer. Um, you know, thing that they use where you've got to move and platform, and you've got to kind of time things, move forward at the right time, backwards, dodge various things. Ooh, whoa! That didn't go well. Thankfully, that is a checkpoint. Things I always thought they looked like. I mean, that now I realise they're probably little. There's some kind of little devil. But I always thought they looked like a little, a little demon with a parachute. Obviously, very silly. What would there? Why would there be a demon with a parachute in the game? Oh! Right. So let's just get back, let's get back up to where we were. And here we are, back to where we were. So it's, I haven't mentioned it yet, but the music in this game as well, just amazing. It's such, a, it's such a great soundtrack. One of my favorites. Yeah, considering I said that the uh, I've never had trouble completing this game, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm making a pig's ear of uh, doing it now. But uh, we'll get there. That's why it's important to keep collecting those extra lives, though. I think this little hole is the end of the level, actually. Or, sorry, the end of that stage. Now we've got to fight the boss. And it's a three-headed dragon, which again makes the, uh, the crossbow extremely uh, useful because you don't have to kind of. Obviously, the heads are quite high up, and this is the only ar this is the only weapon that kind of aims upwards, so you can get them from the floor, and you can fire two shots at once, which is very useful. That's why this weapon, in my opinion, is way the best weapon in the game. You just gotta dodge these. Ah! No, don't screw me over like that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, when they turn into the little guys, you just gotta dodge them until they turn back into a dragon. And then you can uh, start doing damage again. Come on! Boom! Let's catch the key. Oh, I was just trying to catch the key when I was a kid. And that is level four, done. Level five now. 
Or, yep, level five, I think. Now we're in the snow. Or the rain. Ooh. What was that? So we got those big uh Oh, that was a bad idea. Takes oh I'll have a bit of that though. Are we gonna get our arm back? Boom! <laughs> Just a stroke of luck. Probably should have collected that at the start of the level and then had the uh had the green armor. Good job we didn't really. We can get him while we're down here actually. Another uh, positive to the uh Oh no. And the positive to the crossbow. Being able to get guys down there above you. Let's get rid of these flowers. Oh those deadly flowers. Are we going to be able to tempt him out of his, uh, maybe if we jump towards him, tempt him out of his, uh, shell, and then we can kill him. See, I don't even, I wouldn't even know how to kind of do these parts of the game if you didn't have the crossbow. It'd be incredibly hard to try and get up to those, to try and kill those baddies when you can't reach them. There we go, and we'll kill him from below. Checkpoint soon would be most welcome. This might be it because there's a kind of change of terrain. Just because we're uh, in R and D's and it's ah oh, yeah. Okay, so these can't get these. Oh, you can't get these guys from the front. You got to get them from behind because they've got shields. Or you can just best option is to just ignore them. Just dodge past them. Go underneath. Oh, yeah! Patience is the key for this stage, for this bit. Just don't rush it. Take your time, and you'll be fine. There we go. Ooh. Nearly there now. And go over. Oh, hate these guys because they. Swing for you like that. <clears throat> and I think this might be the boss, actually. Okay, no, it's not. But that's definitely got to be the checkpoint now, though. <clears throat> so at least if we die now, we're not going to go back to the very start of the level. Ooh. A uh, chest around here would be lovely, guys. Whenever you're ready. Oh! Is, uh, I don't think he actually kills you with that f with that kind of frosty breath, but I think it just kind of <clears throat> it freezes you, and then he'll just walk into you and kill you that way. Whoa. So this bit, you've got to... Uh, it's going to be these blizzards coming your way, <clears throat> and the only way to not get kind of swept away by the blizzard and killed is to be on a ladder. So you need to quickly... Uh, no. Okay, it doesn't kill you. It just takes you back to the start. That's a bonus. Thank God for that. Um, yeah, so the only way to kind of not get caught up in the blizzard is to get on these ladders. So you need to get on the ladder and then hold. Just chill. Woohoo! Come on. I'm sure there should be a blizzard coming. You watch, I'll jump across here and then it'll instantly come. Okay. Maybe it only it only comes once in each section. There we go. Right, let's get down to this ladder quick then. There's definitely going to be one coming now. Yeah, so I guess it only comes once each kind of section. I guess if we'd have, if we'd have got caught by it there, we'd have got pushed into the spikes and we would have been killed. <clears throat> so maybe the first go is just the kind of tester to show you, you know, 
This is how it works. And we got another boss here. And again, this uh, <coughs> crossbow is going to be invaluable because it means that we can get him from far away. And without getting... Whoa. We can get him from far away and we don't have to get too close. Um, I don't even know. Whoa. No! Oh well. I don't even know how you'd fight that guy if you didn't have... Um... Right, let's get back to that boss then, ASAP. Um, here we are at the boss again. Isn't that a cool looking boss as well? But um, should be plain sailing now that we've got some armor. It's always tricky when you can't get hit once without dying. Oh. Yeah, I don't even... Ooh, that was... okay. Hopefully that doesn't kill me, it just freezes me. Oh good, thank god for that. So it just kind of it makes you vulnerable, I guess, to him throwing his attacks at you. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm okay. I guess you'd have to wait for him to come down low. Oh, that was so close. You'd have to wait for him to come down low if you wanted to get him with a weapon that didn't fire upwards, like the crossbow. Boom, level five done. Collect the key and through the cage. Um, we're approaching the end of the game, although there is a bit of a twist at the end. I'll, uh, I'll show you that when we get to it. Ooh. No, we don't want the lance. It's the game, the uh, weapon that you start with right at the game, start of the game. Come on. Don't you be a uh, beast funny buggers. So they swing at you from all across the screen. Look at those faces. Arrgh, in the wall. Gorgeous. Yeah, all the kind of scenery in there. Oh, the, the level design in this is just lovely. And boom. I haven't had this for a while. Cooking on gas now. Ooh, he's a uh, bird's beak like the first, the boss in the first level. Dealt with him, no problem. Yeah, these little flying guys really annoying because they just oh, okay. The uh, which means these uh, the ho again the homing missiles super useful because you can get oh hello, hang on a minute. I'll get this from behind, and then if we don't like what we, uh... Okay, I'll just do it like this. I was going to say, if we don't like what we see in there, then we've got the option to jump away from it. Nothing worse than being accidentally forced to kind of pick up a crap weapon. Is this the first little stage of the level done? Oh, it's the boss! He's the kind of. Oh. He is a taster of, I believe, the ta a taster of what's to come in the form of an end of game boss. Oh, that's no good. It's particularly annoying because it means that we haven't got the homing missiles anymore. Have that. Didn't need him anyway. And hopefully. Yep, wait, I forgot. When you finish the level, you get your armor back. So we're not back to gold, but we are uh, armoured up again. And that was a super short level, that was. Nice and easy. So we should be able to uh, get to what looks like the end of the uh, the end of the game this episode, if I have a sharpish. Whoa, Nelly! Gotta watch out for those guys with their parachutes. Again, how on earth would you get that bird without getting killed if you didn't have a weapon that fired like this? God knows. Stay with the, uh, stay with the crossbow, guys. It's the only choice. No! Oh, I don't know how I managed to, uh, I don't know how I managed to avoid getting hit by that guy there. Can we get him? Come on, pop your head down, mate. 
Can we safely... No, we can't. <laughs> at least we can back out at the last second there. Ooh. Can only take a couple more hits, this guy, surely. Right, can we, st can we get across? There we go. Should be much easier now. Bob's your uncle. Alright. Chest, are we going to get an improvement on our armor? Come on. No, we're going to get, like, a worse weapon in the game. Oh, it's the scary faces again. I've got a feeling there's one of these flying guys around here again. Oh, hang on. Is he going to whack us on the air as soon as we step up? Whoa! <laughs> Not quite, but he made a good, a good go for it. Right, let's just deal with one first, then we can... Oh, no! <sighs> And we'll only have to deal with one at a time. At least we managed to survive that, anyway. Are we going left? Looks like a wall. Oh, okay. It was a wall. A wall that just disappeared. It just crumbles at the sight of us. That's how tough we are. In our undies. Oh, and we're back to seeing ghosts again. So the best thing to do with these guys is just wait for them to... Wait right outside the... Uh, kind of entrance to the chest, wait for them to appear, and then whack them in the face a bunch of times before they can fly at you. When they, when they start swirling, that is when they're going to turn into a bad guy. So I always hold off, make sure I kill them. I think we may be heading towards the... Hang on, mate. I don't want you interfere, and I think we're heading towards a boss, or the boss. And here he is again, it's the same guy again. That's uh, slightly lacking in effort from the game makers, I guess. And again, one of the amazing things about the... Whoa! One of the amazing things about this weapon. Again, it'd be really hard to fight him if you had to go up onto that ledge and fight him, kind of on his own level. But with this, you can just hold back and uh, aim upwards at his face. And it's nice and easy. Best not die now after saying it's nice and easy. It's much easier with this weapon when you can just... Oh! There we go. Doing the splits in midair there. Much easier when you can just hold back and... Take your time with them. Boom! And oh, here we go. It's like an upgraded version. And this, you would think, is the end of game boss. Go on. Gave him a good, gave him a good pelt in there, didn't they? Oh, so he, yeah, see that that massive attack that he does is totally useless. He, that that's his kind of big attack. Three kind of lasers across the screen. When you can hide down here and still hit him. The whole um, attack is totally useless. So here we are collecting what should be the final key, I believe, for the end of game. But let's find out what goes on. Let's find out what's really going to happen. Wait for this. <laughs> Wait for this beauty. Oh, Arthur! I'm so glad you came to help me. But not even you can defeat that fiend Sardius without the goddess. Bracelet. Speed up, love. I, I once wore the bracelet, and that's why I was attacked and captured by the demons. I barely managed to hide it. She sounds like a little old lady, doesn't she? The world. I barely managed to hide it in the world. Please, Arthur, come back here with the bracelet and release me. You are my only hope. That's right. So she stashed the bracelet somewhere in the world and you have to go through the entire game again to collect the bracelet and make your way back to the end of game boss where then you will have the ability to take on the end of game boss. 
So I'm not going to make you sit through me playing the game again. Um, so we're just going to skip all of that and go straight to the end of game boss again. And here we are guys, back at the uh, final stage of the game. We've got the bracelet that our girlfriend sent us to go and collect, which is actually this kind of Hadouken style fireball. Um, it's really powerful, but it does mean I've had to say good kiss goodbye to uh, my beautiful homing missiles that I love so much. Oh! Ah, I think I'll live. It does mean we have to get a bit more up, up close and personal with the uh, bosses. Yeah, it's one of the good. There would be, as I say, it's one of the good things about the home missiles is that it gives you the ability to just kind of hide away a bit. Also means that we're going to have to. Uh, where I said is kind of special weapons, pretty pointless. It's not anymore. Um, because we are going to have to go up onto that level and fight with them face to face. Oh, I heard that noise. <laughs> that is the noise. That means run away as fast as you can. Oh, noise again. Gotta be really patient. It doesn't give you many chances to kind of hit them. Just gotta pick your spots carefully. There we go, he's got his blue blue shot out of the way. Come on, he's got to be nearly dead soon. Fires this little blue thing, and then I know I'm safe for a couple of seconds. There we go. Got two clean hits in there. Oh, another one. No! Right, that's it. <laughs> we are now down to trying to uh, take him on without getting hit once now. Right. Hey! The key, we get some armor back, and now we can go to the real end. E. End of game boss time. Look at that guy. You can't tell me he doesn't look mega cool. So we're looking to get on those. We're looking to get on those platforms. We're gonna have to get on those platforms. Ride them up to his head without getting shot by the laser beams and uh, without getting stamped on by him. And whack him in the face. Simple as that, eh? Oh! Saving it a second time, lucky. Right, here we go, let's do it. We've got our armor back so we can afford to take one hit. Oh, there we go, two hits. I think we got two hits in on his head there. So I think the trick is to stay just left of center. Because there's, there's one laser beam that goes straight down. So if you stay just left of center, that one won't hurt you. And... The next one along won't hurt you either. 
and then just try and so stay just left of the center so that you just miss that central laser and then you should be able to dodge all of them in one and then just jump straight up just jump up in a straight line dodge all the lasers hopefully get on a platform and then just keep whacking them in the face don't know how many times you have to hit them not many I hope I mean, this is by far the hardest uh, boss of the game, obviously. As you'd expect from an endgame boss. Nothing worse than uh, getting let off lightly right at the end of the game. You want a good battle to uh, end the game. Got a couple more hits in there. Yes, come on, we're back. A few more hits in on the face. Come on, is this going to be the one? No. This is your uh, foolproof method though to make sure that you pretty much, as long as you stick to this pattern, you can't hurt you. Go on, we're back on it now. Give it to him in the face, boom! Take that, you scumbag. the middle. And there she is. We've saved our girl. No one ever imagined that the princess's bracelet was such a powerful magical weapon. Even the princess herself was wearing it as ordinary jewellery, unaware of its magical properties. She only learned the true power of the bracelet when captured by the demons and barely hid it in time. Finally, with the help of the bracelet, Arthur defeated the demons. They will never arise to menace peace-loving people again. And that is Super Ghouls and Ghosts, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a really fun game. It's a little bit cheeky that it makes you go th effectively play through the game twice. But other than that, it's a really fantastic game, well worth a go. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see some more. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.